system was developed. The official from the Namibia Law Reform and Development Commission stressed that despite constitution designed to redress the injustices of the past, much of it still remains intact, although some progress had been made. Chief Legal Officer Clever Mapaure argued that the constitution provides for the protection of private property but also allows for the expropriation of privately owned land with fair compensation. He said the colonial legal system created a land tenure system which mainly benefits the minority elites at the expense of the oppressed majority. What I meant by that is this, that the history of the country informs the laws that we have today and informs the situation that exists right now. You see, you can take examples of dispossessions of land. And a lot of land is owned by a few people. Take commercial farms. Of course, we have gone through now the, this process of land reform. But the problem that exists there is that still a few own these lands. Mapaure further stated that the land question was still the most hotly contested policy reforms in the country. On his part, the researcher and educator Herbert Jauch maintained that adequate housing must be regarded by a government as a basic human right. The state must promote access to affordable houses but also available services and infrastructure and security of tenure, protect people's right to secure housing. Housing policies must not increase inequalities and the state must focus on the rights of the poor and disadvantaged. Jauch noted that more than a quarter of the country's population are living in sheds and the current average house prices of 800000 is unaffordable with their average income of less than $6,000 per month. Alphonse Maketo, NBC News, Oswarongo.